what's going on everybody today is one of those days when I get real excited to share something with you because this is the stuff I like so I like the technical stuff right I can only show you guys how to paint and do this nit nitty nitpicky stuff so many times but it's the technical stuff that I like so the thing I'm doing today and I hope you guys stay along for this is we're gonna get some new tuning on the truck which there's not much to show you there and out of respect for the guy who's doing the tuning because it's it is what it is it's tuning uh, I'm not gonna show you that um, also the reason why we're getting back into tuning is we're going to install uh, this okay what that is is a 10 bar map sensor um, now there's a couple reasons for that and I'm gonna get into them after we get the tuning done and after we get the data logging done because that's another fun thing is maybe some of you guys have and haven't or been curious about what goes in data logging so I'm not gonna go too deep into it uh, you guys will see us making our data logging runs or polls or whatever we're doing you know we're, we're doing our data logging we're not gonna get into the computer with you guys and just like show you how it's done and how it's set up because uh, it's all it's all different right what people want to see and what people do and anyway we're gonna get that done and then so I want to show you guys all that um, and then after we get all that done I will go through and tell you guys and explain to you guys why why am I doing this why am I changing the tuning why am I dad logging the truck I mean what what's the point right so there's a couple reasons and uh, I hope you guys follow along and enjoy it So we made it back to the house. So what did we do, right? You guys, I want to show you this. I want to show you this and I want to explain why I did it because it's it's overlooked and it's a su very, very supporting on growth. So what I did was I took the factory map sensor out and this is actually what they call a 10 bar map sensor. So your map sensor reads atmospheric pressure, but it also reads boost. So if you break it down, and any of you guys with these trucks with uh, with a digital monitor, like the CTS-3, CTS, CTS-2, CTS-3, any of these kind of digital monitors that run off your OBD port down here, you're gonna notice that they all top out about 36, 37-ish pounds, okay? And why that is, is because of the map sensor. The, the truck is reading boost off that map sensor. Well, a factory map sensor on these trucks, and I can't, I can't say for the newer ones because I don't know, but I know for these ones and the, uh, like the third gen 5.9s and all the computer controlled trucks, they run their boost off that map sensor. So uh, the reason that they well, the reason you only see 36 pounds, 36 PSI, is because they max out at 50. Um, now, I'm not going to do the math right now, but one bar is 14 pounds. So sea level being 14.7, and that's where I'm at now, this thing reads 14.7. That's one bar. Um, this map sensor, being a 10 bar, will read 
140 to 147, 140 to 147 pounds of boost. Well, not exactly. I take that back. 147 minus the 14. So you're going to read about 133. Yeah, 133. 130, 133 pounds of boost. Which, by no means, is this setup going to run that much PSI. So this setup right here, if you can see it down there, this is a, uh, for you guys who don't know, or I don't know if I even really even talked about this, this thing has a BD Super B650 special. So what it is, is it is a third gen location T3 manifold. Uh, this is pre SXE, so this is their 367. It has a billet wheel. It's nothing too spectacular, but at the same time, it is. It's pretty good for its time. Now, when BD started doing their, and I'm getting off on a rant here, but when they started doing their uh, Super B special kits with a 366 SXE, you got a more efficient charger, in my opinion. But anyway, um, so the first thing this did, getting back to the map sensor, the first thing this did, this map sensor, the first thing it did was it allowed the truck to see actual boost. Any, over 36 pounds and I don't want to spoil it because this is incentive for you guys to subscribe and comment to have a little bit of fun I want you guys to know that this stock has stock fuel meaning stock CP3 stock injectors air dog 4G 165 lift pump the turbo setup I just told you about head studs uh, as far as other things, you know, besides the intake and the straight exhaust, it really doesn't have much more than that. So what you guys need to do to have a little bit of fun is go down in the comment section below and leave me your best guess on the actual boost on this setup. Um, I'm not sure what I will be able to do or what I can do if you guys hit the nail right on the head, but I will figure something out. So um, other than reading actual true boost on a, a digital meter like we have inside the truck this gives your tuner um, a bigger broader table right so anything if you don't change it out anything over 36 pounds are kind of shooting in the wind they don't know what your truck's actually making for boost they just know what they want to see in the numbers and um, you know back and forth the data logs which we are going to do we're going to data log truck send it back in make sure it's running right we want it perfect or as close as we can get. So that will happen. It didn't happen today. As you guys can see, we made a couple pulls, but no data logs. Um, but it gives your tuner a, a table to work in, a bigger table. Um, so anything over 36 pounds, let's say you make 45, 50 pounds, or you compound guys that uh, hit 75, 80 pounds like it's nothing, your tuner can, can tune in that, that boost window. Right, they're not just throwing fuel at it, making guesses, and I, I don't tune, so I mean I don't know what else they're missing. What you know, it just it, it helps your tuner out, which brings me to my next point. So, in order to do a 10 bar map sensor, this is the tricky part. Okay, you cannot just throw a 10 bar map sensor on a truck without being corrected in the computer because. Because the reason your factory 50 pound or let's say, I don't know, four or five bar map sensor tops out, it tops out at five volts. These sensors have a five volt reference and going from that 0.5 to five volts, they have a table in the computer that shows me, okay, well, it, at five volts, I'm getting the full 50 pounds that's including atmospheric so the full 36 pounds of boost plus atmospheric so at two and a half volts you're getting half of that which would be 25 pounds minus the 14 11 pounds of boost so on and so on so the com that's what the computer goes off of so with the 10 bar map sensor it basically still has a zero or 0.5 to 5 volt reference but 
your five volt reference is maxed out at a hundred and what I say, 147 pounds or 140 pounds. So if you can imagine, you're not going to get those voltages that you would normally get out of your factory map sensor with this. So one, you're going to be smoky. Two, your truck's going to think it's got low boost, or you know, it's it's just not going to be good. So the important thing with a 10 bar map sensor is that you have to get it corrected by a tuner and this is important because you have to be using let's say i'm using efi live um i think the older trucks i don't i don't know because i don't have one i don't know i don't look into it often but i think hpp tuning does the older trucks um and and you guys will know if your truck's tuned by somebody or your platform if you can get it tuned custom tunes you'll know the platform and the tuner's hand but you just have to make sure that you get your tune corrected and it's very important to get your tune corrected for a 10 bar map sensor otherwise you will have you'll have some issues um so that's why i did it uh this is basically the year for supporting mods right so i'm i'm not going to be throwing a bigger charger on it this year i'm not going to be doing the things that really make big power improvements but that's not going to stop me from getting ready to be able to do that and keep it happy um i think it's very important rather than just throwing big parts at something and hoping for the best it's very very important to do your supporting mods like like for your fuel system that's why we did the air dog on stock fuel like stock injector stock cp3 yeah right now i'd have a hard pressed time to run that out of fuel and it does happen uh with a stock lift pump but now i know i won't so that later down the road when i upgrade my air and i run out of fuel because the cp3 and the injectors can't keep up with the turbo i'm gonna have the supply from that air dog to support let's say hypothetically a 10 mil and 65 percent injectors so uh, I keep going off off the rail here but because that's not the, this is about the map sensor right right there that guy so I hope that helped if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to let me know down below I like to hear from you guys I really do um, you guys when you comment when you message me on Instagram you know when, when we just talk this is what I love this truck stuff right here so don't don't be afraid to reach out talk do it ever um, leave comments. I mean, I love knowing that you guys are watching and enjoying and hopefully maybe taking something from these videos, maybe good or bad, I don't know. But um, don't be afraid to, to, to let me know in the comments, like I said, on Instagram. Um, I don't know if I have my Instagram links on my YouTube, but I will put it on the screen uh, just in case you want to check it out. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.